story. I got it in first. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like that. Actually, we should try to do that more often. I yeah. wanted to try to throw you off, but you yeah. nailed it, and man. I landed on your Corey. feet. I did. I do. I always land on my feet, except <laughs> when I don't. Emily, Lee, we are here. We're baking in the sun here. We've we got, are. We're, we're, we're doing recording. that fall, fall yeah, bake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels good, though, you know? Feeling good outside. Some nice weather, you know? Yeah, it's cool and crisp, but in the sunshine, it's so warm and cozy. Yeah, it's feeling good. We're getting to that harvest market kind of feel, the outside, the pumpkins. The We're deep. I feel like we're deep into fall. I feel like Kentucky, as soon as it's fall, it's fall. It's fall. Like, it is fall, y'all. And I think that you have to because after fall, y'all, it's like Christmas, you know? Yeah, yeah, there's I like, mean, it's like, boom, boom. We got to we gotta get it in because we got to get it out. It's Christmas tomorrow. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's 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 winter, winter. Yeah, Man, football, uh, chili, it's all here. It's and I feel like it's, here. do you feel like this? I feel like it's a spookier fall, more Halloween, more people have Halloween decorations. There's more like things available. There's more yeah. spiders and skeletons. Yeah. And I just like the pump, like, it used to be all just pumpkins and kind of fall decor, and yeah. now there's so much out there for Halloween. Yeah, there is a lot. Well, and also I think as I've gotten a little older um, and, like, you know, decorating and having a kid, I feel like I maybe just notice more, too. Like, there's just yeah. more – maybe not. Maybe I feel like the year – I don't know. That is a weird kind of, like – Let us know what you think. Do you uh, – Observation, yeah. you know? Like, so, sometimes you don't sit back and think, like, has it always been so, like – like spiders and like skeleton dogs and like yeah. there's a lot of decorations out there for Halloween and, and stuff. So I have to ask you something because I mentioned this at the women in business meeting the other day. They the question the getting to know your question was what was your favorite Halloween costume? Which we all know you'd have many some yes. really stellar ones. But growing up, my parents would go to the um, it was like a craft store or somebody was like oh Kmart even carried them. I don't even know, but it was a paper. It was like it looked like a like a paper thing of potpourri, like okay. that, that size, yeah, like a little rectangle, you know, thing, and it had a, it had like a costume in it, but like it had the directions on how to make it at home, like with really? the, like as a seamstress. So my mom would like let us pick the packet, yeah, whatever, like you know, the costume, whatever costume you want to be, you know, you can be anything as long as it's one of these, yeah. Know? And we would take it to Georgia Moffat, our seamstress, <laughs> and she'd make it. Oh my gosh, do you that's remember crazy. that? Like a dress, like I don't know. I don't remember that. I, I want to say vaguely, but I don't. I, I'm. I don't really remember. I remember. I know back in the day, like it was a prideful thing for us to make our own costumes, like not buy a store. Yeah. But the store costumes are a lot better now. Honestly, I feel like they yeah. they got a lot better. But yeah, I feel like um, it was always a homemade thing that was nice, and that and that got me into like cosplay and stuff. I mean, I I'll show you. Uh, with the speed of kinetic, uh, this picture here, I, um, I, I, that's when I met Katie. I met Kay- Katie in Halloween. I was dressed as Darth Maul and it was pretty. And m- my mom did the makeup. I had, I, or- I ordered the costume, but it was from Etsy. So it was like handmade. Like, yeah. it, so I don't know. Somebody made it. Kind of cheating. You, kind of not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> it would have been impossible. What about, do you, you got to send me a picture. You got to talk about, is there a Halloween costume that I can flash right now and, sh- and, and I'll, I'll get my of? mom to get you one. I'll, okay. I'll phone Jamie. Between we'll now and then. But you're looking at it now. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. Well, we don't know what that is because we... Oh, Emily. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking maybe it's as a kid. Like, you well, know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm literally, I have no idea what it is. If it's but a it's... Jane School of Dance um, recital <laughs> costume, that's really what I wore too. So we just uh, recycled those, you know? You're a dancer. Like, you're a skunk this year again, yeah. you know? Well, you're watching us at the speed of, of bandwidth here at, right. at the internet. And uh, if you're lucky, you have um, kinetic. You have kinetic for your internet. And, for your internet That's and right. it's it's just it's great the customer hard, hard service to say, is impeccable easy to use. <laughs> it's, it's just easy to use you just log on you're, you're on you're there that's right. I want to give a shout out. They just did our night market last Thursday. Mm-hmm. They um, did it. And um, it's all about shop local, eat local, buy local, be local. And they are a powerful force here yeah. in Woodford County. Um, but if you think about it, it's all outside. And so you, and you know, in the elements and everybody had a point of sale and, you know, to use your credit card machine or your debit card machine yeah. or whatever it is, um, you have to have internet. And those, the kinetic is literally powering our community. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, I'm sure you got some footage yep. of it a little bit or some pictures that we can show where yep. you're looking at right now. So thank you, Kinetic. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank everything. you for sponsoring us. Things. Thank you for the things. Thank you for the things. Um, you know, 
kids love the internet, as we know from last yeah. episode. They do. They, they do. also love JB Food Mart. Well, really. They love and Goldie. They love Goldie. He is like, a, that's what we should be for Halloween. We should, <laughs> he's like a superhero, you know? Yeah. We just need Super to be, Goldie. Super Goldie. We need. We could be him. He's a local celeb. Everybody yes. loves him and uh, definitely my girl. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we've got a little video here uh, of Millie talking about how much she loves him. That's right. I love Goldie. I love coming here. Cute. Cute. Cuteness. Cute. And literally, you could, I could have showed... I mean. Uh, Avery right here tried his his uh, the meatloaf there loved it. Second time in a row she's tried it and loved it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, pour it up. Pour we do it, it up. Because you know that meatloaf goes good with red wine. It does. It does. I wish I had some right now. Meatloaf. It's a good season for meatloaf. Oh, so it's meatloaf what are season. we? It is okay. meatloaf season, and it's also Opa season, baby. Opa. Oh, this this Opa's, is one of my favorite. Opa's cab sap. Reds. Yeah. So it, this is a 2020. I uh, got some age on it now. Um, it, okay. So this is Opa. He, real life Opa. That's yeah. Axel's Opa. Yep. Uh, so that's Grandpa Opa. Uh, Clint's, Clint's dad. dad. Um, and he, of course, has his own with his cigar. He's ready to go. His fine wine. Yeah. Uh, his fine wild side winery wine. Sure it's a focused. one on the dry scale. Ooh, uh, so like a it. crescendo of black cherry, blackberry, and plum with our full-bodied cab salve is full of your favorite rich flavors. Indulge in the notes of warm spice and vanilla with your favorite steak. It was, it, it, they saw it, <laughs> my reaction. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, this is a red, and I, I tried it like this. I'm like, oh, yeah, and then it's like, bing! Like, it is the, like a... All the notes. A big zing. Mm -hmm. Notes just came through. And I'm allowed to talk about the legs on this one, because it's... Oh, that's Opa's nice. got some good-looking <laughs> legs. Opa! He probably does. He's probably that's got some, stro some strong legs. <laughs> So strong. He's working out there. So, Lord. yes, thank Corey, you. Corey, you taking wine terminology and <laughs> yeah. applying it. Just poor Wild Opa. He doesn't even live here. Winery. He doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't. Hopefully he watches the show and he's he's, right. he's laughing right now. <laughs> to Opa. To Opa. Opa. Opa's legs. To Opa's legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Lord. He's, Opa, man, that was like a one-two punch. I'm sure he's got a, a good right, right left. Mm -hmm. I've worked an event with him, man. He's funny. Fun times. Oh, that's delicious. Wild Side Winery. Oh, get yum, on their yum, Facebook, yum, yum, yum. get on their website, that's look at all like the events. That's fall in a bottle right there. It is. Fall so in a bottle. And they're getting their grapes right now. Um, so they're bottle. harvesting, literally, doing yeah. their fall harvest. Yeah, um, they got the grapes in, man. Yeah. So we should probably take them out there soon, right? We should, see, absolutely. See some of that process. Absolutely. You're going to get to see um, uh, Alicia's Wild Side's charcuterie mastery next episode because yeah. it's going to be our downtown uh, episode, a two-parter. So the next two weeks after this one... Um, you're going to get some cool downtown content yeah. guests, maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we got. We'll see what happens. It's going to, it'll be a surprise. That's be a surprise. Right. If you haven't seen her charcuterie though, she was in the news. Uh, she's That's on right. Everyday Kentucky. So check that out too. Uh, you can, you can get a little preview before the what's up Woodford full view. He'll, here's a, here's a, here's a full view. God, see the horse, man. Look at me. Here is a full view of our experts. What's up, Woodford? I've got a new piece of equipment I want to show you that I got in here, which is our glute trainer. And a lot of people come up to me. This is obviously a very intimidating piece of equipment, but it has great benefits, especially if you're trying to work your back or you're trying to work your glutes. Okay? So what you're going to do is load yourself in here just like this. Put your feet right up here on this platform. This actually moves. It'll come back to you. You will push in this yellow piece right here. Get underneath it. I'm gonna start off with no weight. You can obviously put a weight plate right there and you're going to engage your glutes up, lift that off so now I can engage a full range of motion and then you're just going to easily dip, just like this. I usually tell my clients to do three sets of 10 and then once you're done, push this back out, grab this and up and load yourself out, just like that. If you all have any questions, obviously come up and ask me or one of my staff members. So again, with the Boxy by Moxie, we have some great thermal wraps. They're awesome. Basically, any type of hair that you have will benefit from this. So detox and balance, color protect repair, volume and nourish. And you can do this right in the comfort of your home. Um, single use, 
It's so much fun, and you'll look so beautiful with, with it on, so have a blast. <laughs> Hi, it's Madonna with Bluegrass Traditions. Come in and look at our Lulu B line. The fabrics are fabulous. The colors are out of this world. It, the fabric has a cooling effect. It protects you from the sun. We have tops. We have capris. We have dresses. These are fabulous. They don't wrinkle. They wash like a dream. Please come in and take them. Hey, what's up, Woodford? This is Justin with Jason Go State Farm. I'm one of his new sales team members, and I've been doing insurance for about two years now. Uh, just wanted to say hello and introduce myself to the community. Hey. Hey. Experts, I have to take a big swallow there. I, this is, I gotta have some more wine. Uh huh. Experts, um, I need to be current. You sure do. <laughs> and I so, need more wine. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. So in <laughs> preparation for fall, we, you know, so we've got, we already had fall break. Now we're gonna have winter break, and mm -hmm. they have clinics. They have the turkey um, trot, mm -hmm. or the turkey. Um, the day before turkey romp, day. right? Turkey romp. Thank you. I'm like, I cannot find that word in my head right now. The turkey romp. You listen. All I can think about is Opa's legs. <laughs> I know. It's got me just, <laughs> Opa's legs still have me in a way. Falling um, Springs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, so if you go to the, if you go to Falling Springs, you can see all of what they have. Yeah. Their basketball, their cheerleading. Mm -hmm. They have other sports right now, swim and tennis and all the things. Um, but another thing, we are all just let's just face it. We're already starting to think about our um, Christmas list. Mm -hmm. Get that ten pass class as a stocking stuffer. Yeah. Do it. Do it now while they last. Get them a ten pass class. Make it a stocking. I'm gonna do stuffer. that for my in laws. They just moved here uh, and they've been asking about Falling Springs. They just went there for the play not too long ago. See? A little shop of horrors. Uh, the because the Woodford Theater is connected mm -hmm. to it. And my daughter loved it. Did she love it? Loved it. So good. And they have a Christmas one coming up after a Little Shop of Horrors. So get tickets to that as well. You just got to walk in there and see what's going on. Go to their website. Look up Falling Springs. Go to their website. Uh, Facebook, yep. all the things. And next week, you're going to get to meet Aaron. Um, yep. Who That's is, right. Who has taken over some of the responsibilities that Rainy had. Taking the reins. Taking the reins. <laughs> Rainy's reins. <laughs> uh, hey. Um, <laughs> anyway, you're going to get to meet him. So we'll look forward to that next week. Absolutely. Absolutely. Woodford Weekends. Ah. Yo. Yos. Okay, Corey, I've been talking about this for a while, and I don't think people while. have been listening. I don't think they have been understanding what I've been saying. But we launched Woodford Wallet, and so Woodford Tourism, Reserve Woodford, is matching up to $5,000, $100 up to $5,000. Up to, they're matching hundred dollars, hundred percent up yeah. to hundred dollars. Got it. And we have five thousand dollar cap, so oh, okay. you have to get in before all the money. All the money. So you, you got five thousand dollar pot. Right. And if you go with a hundred dollars and say, yep. Emily, here's my hundred. They're gonna match your one hundred. Here's another hundred. And that's two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. But you can break it up. You could do it about for Christmas fitting. gifts. <laughs> um, you could do it. You know, again, you could do like a twenty-five dollar gift card for somebody. Then you know, Corey, you could get it for your in-laws, and then they have a fifty-dollar gift card. You know, and they can spend it at any of the participating businesses. Hundred percent of the proceeds, anything what a deal. spent, is back into the local economy. It's a hundred percent to these businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, so like Moxie Style Studios participating. Moxie. I can get my heart in. You can go to Skin Boutique by Kaylin. You can get services, um, food, products, whatever it is. So check it out. Um, that's all at reservewoodford.com. And the program is called Woodford Wallet. It's always going on, but the match is just while funds last. And guys, I'm telling you, it's not going to last long. No. No, it's not. We, next episode, we wonder how much money's left. That's right. Do a staycation. We'll match it. You can get a holiday in stay. Go into the... Holiday Inn and, and bring your kids. Holiday and you Inn. You get a little staycation. You get a pool, an indoor pool. You get yeah. Cinnabons the next day. I mean, you yeah. could use it for anything, mm, any Cinnabons. any of these participating businesses. I've been trying to get back into I fell off the wagon a little bit, Emily. I haven't been running. Aww. I haven't been going to the gym. This is how it all starts, Corey. And no, so, you said, so I've started to like slowly get back into my diet. And uh, when you said Cinnabons, I just was like, 
Yeah, diet what? Diet what? I'll start Monday. Next week. I'll start, like, it's always so easy. Yeah, but <laughs> the worst is you're getting right now is the worst because you're getting into Halloween. You're going to get all that Halloween candy. And then you're going to start getting into the pies. I'm not and a then big you're candy get, guy. Actually, what? but I but I am a pastry like like a pot, like a key lime pie or uh-huh. something like ooh key lime pie. The one from Kroger is like my favorite. <laughs> you know what I'm like? You're it's that, hard to please apparently. See now I can't stop now. <laughs> I can't stop donuts, man. I love some donuts too. A pa- I, pa- I just the pastries, cookies, pastries. Yeah, that cider I'm not, donut. I don't really, I'm not oh candy. my gosh! And while we're on Woodford weekends, if you don't, if you don't even have kids, you don't want to go to the pumpkin patch. I get it. Pumpkin. But get those Eckert cider donuts while they last, because it's only until the end of this month. See, that's another thing that's a killer. I get an Eckert's donut and I'm, oh. I could, I could, man, I could eat that a whole and a pack cup of coffee. in one sitting. Yeah, that warm that. them up just a little bit. Ooh. I could eat a whole six pack in one easy one sitting. Yeah, they go down quick. <laughs> and then just feel, you know, like that's yeah. way too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's way too much. Yes, Woodford weekends. Um, it's time. It's it time, is time for some it is time. Midway Distilling Company Bluegrass Distillers. Batch uh, I'm gonna pour three, it. Out. So I'm gonna pour this. I'm going to do the whole. Do the pop. That wasn't a very good pop one. your top oh, on an L8 one. Is that an L8 one or an no, Pringles one. can? I don't know. Pop, pop, pop the top. The top. Oh, I did it almost That's did it Pringles. again. Pringles. Is that what it is? Pop yeah. the top. Right? Or is that no? Pop. Is it pop the top on an L8 one or pop the top on a Pringle? Pringles I always thought L8 ones like that. L8 one. Oh. Like that song. You know what I'm talking about? No. No. Got nothing for I you. Gotta, I gotta find it. Okay. All right. What, you what drink am I drinking up, here? You drink up. This is Dudley and Gratz release. The northeast corner that. of Dudley and Gratz streets yeah. were the original site of the Midway Distilling Company. They That's combine right. techniques from the whiskey and wine industries that and was the to original create an site? exciting marriage of a rye whiskey finish. Okay. And a French solderness barrel. Sauternes. <laughs> the added here. sweetness of the dessert wine barrel finish elevates the rye whiskey to new heights. Mm. The Dudley and Gratz. Oh my gosh. And it's lighter. Like, I don't know what that is. That is smooth. But in the color lighter. That is dangerous. Yeah. It, it is a little, it could be in the sun too. You got like, we are we No, are but blasted. even like in a, um, a normal, it's a little lighter. A little so lighter? I, I wonder what that... Take your, take your little swig. A little swig. Take your swag. Grandpa's old cough medicine. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa's old cough medicine. Uh, yeah, 100, 110 proof. Saunturn, Saunterns. Saunterns. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know. Show me, me the word. We're the words together. Saunterns. 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 Cast. Saunterns. Saunterns. I just think of sauntering over. Yeah. <laughs> Cask. <laughs> Finished right. This is really good. I really like this. Dudley Do you? and Gratz. Do you? you like it? You Congrats. Like you like a lot. I like it a lot. Midway Distilling Company, um, man, we gotta check in. We, we're gonna check in with Maggie here shortly uh, to see about that tasting room. Absolutely, mm-hmm. we're gonna get you get you an update. We'll we'll do that. We'll check in. We'll let you know. Absolutely. Business Circle brought to you by Wilford County Chamber of Commerce. Last but not least, y'all. Definitely not uh, least. So Hunter Boyd is doing a. Um, Yes. We love Hunter We love Boyd. Hunter. He's doing an IRA. Uh, businesses can have different IRA setups, and you got to figure out which one's the best for your business uh, than for your people. Yeah. So a simple IRA, or there's other types. Um, so he's going to do a whole business segment, free to come to that. That's going to be some breakfast and, and things at the chamber this week. We have a Woodford County happy hour. Um, so anybody that wants to come, it's at the Woodford Inn on the 20th. Ooh. Um, that evening, of course, is the homecoming parade, and then the game is Friday. Uh, so lots happening downtown on Thursday of this week. And yep. then uh, Sheridan, 60th birthday. So Sheridan. I'm 60. Been, yeah, then Rand McNally and um, a Sarah. lot of other names of the years. A lot of people would have worked there uh, from Woodford County. You'll know it. Um, but if you see some celebrations going on, they turn 60 this year. I'm 60. Have you seen that? The Molly Shannon. She's like, I'm 60. And she like kicks in the air. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a good one. That was a good one. They used to make me giggle back in the day. Saturday, yeah. night, Saturday night Live. Coming to you from... Uh, A18, A18 Studio. What, which, what, I can't remember. Oh, wow. I don't remember what, what it was. 
it was in Rockefeller Studio. So yeah. AH yeah. in A-H, Rockefeller yeah, Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. We got there together. <laughs> that, was, that was a journey. Eventually. Um, but I think, Corey, we just need to leave them on the check presentation because we had some fabulous community members make donations. Yes. It was a win-win for everybody for Twilight Festival, for these uh, school organizations, HOSA, yeah. um, the wrestling team and the cheerleading team. They volunteered. They sent their team. Their parents came. Everybody came. It was yep. wonderful. And uh, some great, fantastic community leaders donated to that cause. Twilight Festival is only getting bigger, people. So it's... It's uh, ruined. Well, we're getting there. I love it. I love it. Uh, cheers. Cheers, my friend. Have have fun. That's it. Have a good week. Late's my gates. See you all. Hello, Woodford County. Happy Friday to everybody. We have a special ceremony for you today. We are here at the Business Center right downtown in Versailles here at the Chamber office. And we are celebrating um, some great business partnerships that happened through the Twilight Festival. Our Twilight Festival is a festival that's been happening for over 20 years downtown Versailles. Um, this year we grew it to new heights and we could not have done that without our partners. Um, every year we look for volunteers, we look for community support, and this year we were able to find a really unique partnership between businesses that supported our school groups. Um, so we have some really great business partners who believe in what we're doing here at the Chamber, who are great business leaders amongst themselves um, in their own industries and in Woodford County as a whole, and then some amazing teachers and coaches who support these groups and, and help us to rally the troops to get great um, community support from our, our athletes and our students at Woodford County High School. So I'm going to turn it over now to the Mayor of Midway, Mayor Grayson Vandergriff, to say a few words. Thanks, Emily. And I want to say to you and everybody involved, uh, congratulations on what was definitely the greatest Twilight Festival we've ever. The biggest one, the most fun. It was incredible seeing the energy on the streets. How many stages? Like four different music stages? It was incredible. Great job to everybody. Uh, and this here today, and you all are going to get to learn a little bit more about where some of this money is going in a moment. I won't steal their thunder. But uh, this shows what happens when people work together and different entities and governments are participating with each other, not just talking about it, but actually doing it. Uh, and that shows what we can accomplish when we work together. And on a, in a perfect segue, I'm going to introduce someone else who knows about working together, Judge Executive James Kay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Emily. And uh, it's a great day in Woodford County because working together works. Uh, what an amazing Twilight Festival that we had. It was a community-wide success because it brought in so many members of our community to make it the success it was. But we have a growing and amazing business community. You know, Emily, I was reminded uh, at this occasion what more than a bakery, Community Trust Bank, and Ruggles Sign did for our school lunches. And you're about to learn about some other businesses that are giving back in meaningful ways to our schools, to our students, to our student athletes. And that's what it's all about in Woodford County. That is uh, why it makes our community special and why we're achieving big things. So uh, it's a great day in Woodford County, and it's always a great day on the hill, on Daisy Hill. <laughs> and we have the director of Daisy Hill, the great Laurie DeRoe. Uh, Laurie, come up and tell us what we have going on. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. So as James Kay said, we do have fun on the hill. Daisy Hill um, is a great supporter of our community, and we are greatly supported by our community. So we've partnered closely with the HOSA Club at the high school for a while. Um, Jessica Knight and myself um, work together each year to bring students through to learn through their pathway program, what we offer, who we are, who we serve, and the opportunities that we offer for our students to learn is whether it's through the HOSA Club volunteer program, through internships, um, and even into the co-op setting for the high school. So we are happy to have those young smiling faces come through, learn from them, and um, hopefully pass things along the way. So now, who's up next? <laughs> so Jessica, I'm getting it. Jessica. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. Um, the students really enjoyed helping out at the Twilight Festival. Um, they um, were raising money for um, Be The Match um, Swab Drive. We have a student that um, has leukemia. They were also um, encouraging, we were running a blood drive that following week, so they were getting sign-ups for our blood drive. Um, that was awesome that they got to participate in that, and then they were so excited, the great food and the awesome vendors. I myself snuck away from the booth a couple times and did a bunch of our Christmas shopping, so that was awesome. So I appreciate the opportunity, and my kids enjoyed all the games. Um, thank you, Daisy Hill, for always having a place for our interns. 
We have a few um, interns right now um, at Daisy Hill, and they also. Oh, that's right, yeah. And, and we have culinary and. Yeah, we have a culinary intern there and two health science interns with HOSA. And we also um, get awesome field trip that Emily has set up for us to bring the whole group to come right. visit Daisy Hill and see what senior living um, in Woodford County is all about. So I thank both of you so much for everything. Yeah. Great, thank you. Now, um, we had another great donation from another awesome business partner. Our neighbor here um, is Alex Mason from Farrick Mason. And I want her to tell you a little bit about her business as well because she has an amazing business story and we're so fortunate to have her here in Woodford County. Hi, I'm Alex Mason. I'm an artist and textile and wallpaper designer. And I'm so happy to have my business in Woodford County and to be able to support the community. And we're really happy to present, should I present the check now? Yeah. To present this check for $500 for the Yellow Jacket Cheerleaders. Go Woodford! Awesome. Do you want to say anything else about your business or what you do with your business? Um, no. no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. Um, and finally, they couldn't be with us today, but Blackburn Award Funeral Home also helped to support our wrestling team. So I'm going to invite up uh, now Coach Cody Lewis. How you doing, everyone? Um, thank you for the support. Uh, uh, thank you for the check. Uh, we're getting ready to start our 22-23 season uh, this Monday. So we're planning on doing a lot for the community this year. So please come out and support. Uh, let's grow with wrestling back to, back to where it was. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on the bench. I thought we were just doing this. Yeah. <laughs> come stand behind here if you guys don't mind. Everybody behind. <laughs> Corey, I wanted to share um, this group together collaboratively, excuse me, um, donated $1,500 to our community, to our students, and to groups at Woodford County High School. So what an amazing um, contribution, not only to Twilight Festival, but to these student groups as well. So um, our chairperson, Jerry Hartley, is going to now present the check to all of our, these groups and the, um, the businesses who donated. So thank you so much. Jerry, you want to present the check Thank then? you, guys, and congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much for your support. We couldn't do it without you. Yay. There we go. Yeah. Some faces there, just, for the, just for the heck of it. And now John will get our formal picture. Thank you guys all for joining, and thank you to these businesses. Take care. Let me take y'all.